go to countries such as the Netherlands. The Prime Minister arrives to work. Oh, Africa. If he should see the convoy of an African minister. Not our president, I'm not touching the president. The presidents are in a different world. The African minister. The African minister will never queue. Oh, he's anathemic. Oh, the African minister is a demigod. Oh, Africa. The African councillor in your rural home, when they go to churches, not even if it is not their denomination, they saunter to the front seats. And even our latter-day clergymen will invite them to share their wisdom with the people, even if we know that they are village fools. But if you will look at our struggle since the 60s, you will see nothing but betrayals by the petty bourgeois elements in our society. The African bourgeoisie is the most corrupt bourgeoisie in the world. In Africa, they seek luxury in the midst of mass suffering. There are more Mercedes in Africa than in any other continent in the world. In America, as soon as they arrive at a position based on this blood of the people, they snatch that position and run away from the people. But you must not think that they represent the people. They only represent their opportunistic self using the people every step of the way. So you must not be confused. Uh, well, um, I'm a baby boomer. I was born just after the war. Uh, we've had probably... We've probably uh, had the longest period of peace and prosperity uh, globally, uh, I would say, uh, from that time. I've put a little bit of modest money away so I can hand something down to my family when I pass on, largely because I've never spent more money than I've earned, and I've been prudent, and I've worked moderately hard. Now, it always seems to me as a complete surprise to politicians how countries get in debt. Let me explain, because I don't think you really understand it. It's because politicians consistently spend more money than they raise in taxation, more money than they can possibly raise in taxation, most of which, in point of fact, they actually waste. The reason we're talking about countries which are broke, and they are broke, is because they're ridiculous, ineffective, Ignorant politicians consistently spend more money than they can raise, and then they borrow, and they borrow, and worse, they then print money because politicians and their central banks have a machine which prints money. You do that as a private citizen, and it's a criminal offence. You would go to prison for doing that, and politicians and their central banks do it all the time. Let me explain to you that these countries are broke and they're broke because of their own stupid leadership and politicians and it's immoral, immoral to ask ordinary taxpayers of any country to pick up the tab for failed politicians and failed banks. They are defaulted, they're broke, for God's sake let's all of us admit it. <laughs>